Chinese New Year's Eve is called Chuxi, meaning year-passing evening. Families gather for a reunion feast and light fireworks to scare off the bad luck from the previous year and welcome in the new. In Vietnam, the festival is called Tet. The Vietnamese traditional Tet is an important event. It's the time for gathering and enjoying big feasts. At Tet, every family must have a peach blossom branch and a kumpa tree to welcome the new year. For Vietnamese, the holiday is also about spending time with loved ones and fresh starts. And over the years, Spring Festival has gone beyond Asia. With a growing number of Chinese communities scattered around the world, the Lunar New Year has become a mainstream holiday where they've settled. The traditions and customs have slowly integrated into many local communities. I brought my children here so they can watch how the Chinese celebrate, to introduce them to the Chinese culture that is tied to us in many ways. There are also some similarities. I'm very keen to bring them to the spring festivals every year. I must say it's getting more popular every year in Egypt. I think it's a good idea to bring some Chinese cultural elements to Egypt, from Asia to Africa. I think the artists from China has shown us a very good uh, festival gala here in Egypt. From traditional instrumental concerts in St. Petersburg to parade of celebrations in Lisbon, people around the world are embracing the festive spirit. Chinese embassies in Cuba and Colombia opened their doors to their friends far away from home. And Australian Prime Minister Turnbull even joined in on the fun with the Dragon Dance performers in Sydney. Believe it to the divers in Singapore to outperform everyone with their dragon dance to welcome in the year of the rooster. Grace Xiao, CGTN.